Young and old, near and far, people of all age, ability, and gender, welcome back to the Extra Life Goon Platoon! Hey there, folks, how you doing? I have brought on with me a panel of guests. Uh, some are old faces, some are new. Uh, but, as is tradition, we are going to have a weekend of bizarre D&D &D things. Um, first on tap today, we do have the Goon Balloon Moon Platoon, uh, as, and we will start with that, but first I want to just do a quick description of generally what we are as uh, Extra Life and the Goon Platoon, <laughs> um, and what uh, we support here. So, basically our deal is that uh, every year, or um, more or less, we get a bunch of folks together to play D&D &D for charity, um, to raise money for the Children's Hospital, no, Ch Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, not the Children's Hospital Miracle Network, they get kind of fussy about that. Um, and the way we do that is by just playing a Dungeons & Dragons campaign that has no rails and will go off them immediately. Um, the ways that you can uh, help participate is we have uh, a link. I'm going to toss that in the chat right now. Uh, and basically, we have... Um, oh no, does it not work? Okay, I will put the link in manually in a moment. <laughs> um, sorry, so w there will be a link. And basically, uh, I and each of our players here has uh, donation incentives that if you decide to donate, you can make a immediate and often dramatic change to the game as, as a whole. Um, we've been doing this for a couple years because it is a good cause in general, um, and also something that at least I'm particularly invested in. Um, I am supporting the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia this uh, year, and they had helped care for a friend of mine that, uh, while has now passed, um, was an original member of the Goon Platoon, and would not have been there if they had not made it through being a kid, and things could be a lot worse for kids than a lot of people have it. So we just want to try and make things a little better where we can. This year and the few years around it have been, well, a raging trash fire to say the least. Um, but it, I think that it would be best to try and make a difference where we can. So this weekend we're going to try and do that. Make a little point of light in our sea of darkness. <laughs> anyway, I guess let's give some introductions of who exactly you are, and then we can get the show on the road. Um, I guess we'll go in like the order of the page. Uh, Fred, you go first. You're muted. <laughs> I had to find where I was muted. I have like three different ways to mute my microphone. Uh, <laughs> I am Fred. I am playing Zune, the Sleepy Balloon Bard. Would you like to say what your like gimmick is and how it works? Oh, right. Um, <laughs> I, uh, basically, when donations come in, everybody goes to sleep, and Nick makes an effect happen to somebody, and things are weird. The bigger the donation, the bigger the effect. So people might be having crazy dreams, wacky nightmares, trauma. <laughs> the huge. Um, yeah. Luke, would you introduce yourself? Uh, sure, I'm Luke. Uh, I'm playing uh, Goon Balloon John. Uh, he's an artificer, uh, and he has made a magical belt, which doesn't seem to do exactly what it's supposed to do at any point. Uh, and they get that is the gimmick. So depending on the donations, uh, it does random things from uh, teleporting to and 
and the explosions and the more you donate the more random things happen and the crazier things happen uh from a d100 all the way down to a d8 uh it could go very poorly or very good i guess we'll find out <laughs> all right ryan Hello, I'm Ryan. I am playing Muldoon the Monsoon, a goon balloon blood hunter. Uh, part of my perks um, kind of roll up into a tiered system. The higher total donations given, the more abilities I unlock. Um, but there are a few, you know, things on the go. Like I have an attack called Rush Recklessly where I launch myself at an opponent and then it'll bounce off and hopefully hit more people before I go pop and explode and deal some damage. Um, you can spend two in increments of two. You can uh, extend the range of that by 10 feet, which also increases some of the damage done. Um, you can also make it so when I pop, it's a louder pop, dealing additional damage. Um, or there's also the ability to kind of recharge that ability, because normally I can only use it once per long rest. But if you keep on giving two bucks, I can keep on just ping, pinballing around the map. Fun times. I had set up a system uh, with Ryan to uh, sort of have these like gated upgrades and then uh, Ryan went above and beyond to raise a whole bunch of money before the stream started so it, we, we now have a very hardcore blood hunter on our midst <laughs> All right. uh, and Colin yeah hi I'm Colin and I am playing uh, the illustrious uh, Polly Chlorophyn the 28th of her name uh who is a uh, swashbuckler rogue, Goon Balloon, uh, and Polly is afflicted with uh, the curse of indefatigable eye patches, which is to say that sometimes during their life, an eye patch just randomly manifests out of thin air and attaches themselves to one of their eyes. Uh, being a Goon Balloon, they can't get them off manually because, you know, you have to get close with your claws and then you might pop yourself, so she's stuck with them. She, they're stuck with them. And uh, every uh, patch has a specific... Yeah, magical effect that uh, we will roll for uh, randomly. So we will uh, eventually, hopefully, hopefully get to uh, to the illustrious uh, a title of twelve patch, where I have twelve patches look like an incredibly fearsome pirate with superpowers and can't see. Well, Colin, you've already received a donation. Uh, oh boy! So <laughs> while we while you figure out how to go resolve that, I am going to. Uh, Talk us, walk us in and roughly what the concept of this campaign is. So, let's see if I can do, get this without tripping over my words. Um, Unlun is the home planet of the Goon Balloons, or at least these, this set of Goon Balloons. I'm not entirely sure of what Goon Balloon canon is, because while I do sincerely believe we may have had an effect on the name of the Goon Balloon, we did not have their, we did not make their lore. Um, Goon balloons are uh, short-lived creatures, or at least have the potential to be short-lived creatures, as they're not the uh, the prettiest or strongest creatures in the multiverse, but they certainly can be committed to their cause. And now, because in its question is, the moon of Unlun has begun to break out of its orbit. It was an artificial moon, um, and has started to uh, topple towards Unlun. Now. In order to uh, save Unlun, we have formed the best of the balloons out there by making the Goon Balloon Moon Platoon, uh, and they are headed to Unlun's moon in search of the moon doubloons to uh, regain control of this artificial moon and put it back in orbit around Unlun. <laughs> so our adventure begins as our Goon Balloon Moon Platoon has just begun to assemble um, and are arriving at their designated uh, starting point, which is the uh, Hewn Lagoon Saloon here on Unlun, <laughs> just outside their spaceport. And that is where they are arriving just now. Nice. Okay, so before anything gets off the ground, um, Fred, you've received a donation. Ooh, I did receive a... a donation. <laughs> uh, Fred, what is the magnitude of the donation? What, what, how, 
Uh, it is a twenty-five dollar donation. So. Jesus. Okay. Um, I think the base one was two. So <laughs> spiral that as you see fit. <laughs> okay. So as you are beginning to uh, assemble and uh, walk towards this tavern, you all spontaneously fall asleep. Just. <laughs> just toppling the ground. Everybody's prone. Um, <laughs> and when you awaken, um, roll me a d4, Fred. All right. Oh, is it? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Two. Better, Mr. Moose? Um, a mysterious moose, sorry. Uh, wait, okay, because it's the, wait, where did you put it? Oh, there it is, In, sorry. Yes. It was one bit up, so it's like, well, why did you rush recklessly to roll a d4? It's like, oh no, you can't. <laughs> um, all right, so, two. John. You have not figured out why yet, but you are glowing. I'm still asleep, right? No, no, you, you've just woken up. Oh, right. Okay. We um, all spontaneously wake up. <laughs> yeah. Is, is that is something glowing? Huh? Uh, I, I, is, is it me? And why sure it is. I. Um, what? Why be a glowing? I, 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 I mean, it could be my belt. Uh, I don't think I've got a cream for this. Uh, is this any of you? Or is this just... I suppose you should keep it around. Be fair sight handy if it's dark out. Uh, true, I can't see in the dark, so very well. Me neither. Now, you, um, you are aware that Unlun's moon is a source of chaos magic. Uh, and so perhaps as it is approaching, it has had some unintended side effects. Right. Sure, we can flip it. Down to be the moon. Alright, so, uh, you have arrived in the uh, Lagoon, the Cune Lagoon Saloon, um, and you are here to meet with your commander, uh, Darun Mansoon 657. So, All right. what would you like to do? I'm, I mean, we could look for a seat. Is there much as a table? A fair bit of libations won't hurt, eh? You know, we're off on this here suicide mission. Why is we looking, looking for the brain. time? No. Exactly. Did you say suicide mission? Oh, I'm fully assuming, like, every day of my life is mortal peril. It's just... I mean, even just a, very sharp, just, a, just a very sharp table would, would, could end any one of us. If I there... wake up and I scratch myself too vigorously, I just die. There's a lot of knives around here. Who, who, who thought that was a good idea? We're a brave people, but they're not a particularly clever one. <laughs> That's for sure. Mm. So, oh. as you look around the saloon, you see many other goons um, going about their day, um, eating assorted like foods and drinks that are just a hassle. You're not entirely sure why you even have chairs next to these tables, given that you have to like float to use the cutlery. But <laughs> um, that's just sort of how things go for goon balloons. Which just did make me realize I'm not sure everybody here knows what a goon balloon is. Um, Wait, we don't need to eat. <laughs> you don't need to Why do we even out. have this building? <laughs> we don't. Well, need, what is the don't... point of this location? <laughs> either. So, we don't need to eat, but okay. it's a fair sight more fun than not. For the viewers, uh, this is a goon balloon. Um, it's just a ball of glass <laughs> that has. 12 eyes, each of which can shoot iridescent lasers occasionally. Um, they're, they're not a whole lot of anything, but everybody is those. You'll notice they do not have arms, um, which may pose a problem to some of our combatants today, but it seems like they've all got creative solutions to that. <laughs> not a problem. Just go airborne. Do a bit of swashbuckling. <laughs> so, the rune maroon. Drew Manoon, I'm yeah, sorry. Drew Manoon is, oh, you see your commander over there with a 
big sash that certainly seems to designate them as such. Um, has like a big old pint glass of. Well, the, the, the localization would say it's apple juice. Juice. Yes. Amazing. Do we have a mouse? Probably. Yep. Yeah, but you don't want to know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, multifunctional. Yeah. Multifunctional. Every time I take food or drink it to myself, I go into some sort of fugue state and then wake up, and it's gone. Yeah. But I noticed a few of you have got, like, clothes on. I How? With great effort. Because my little, my little toe feet, I can't, I can't reach up that far. No, me neither. I have a whole staff, a whole crew of uh, fellow pirates who, uh, like, extra special care to put me tricorn on in the morning. It's... It's very dangerous every time I like to live my life on the edge, you see. Well, mm. I also have a lot of siblings who can float and get me dressed, and we all get each other's dressed. We're all very close like that. <laughs> I, mm. I just put some tape on the bottom of my nightcap, and then just whoop. <laughs> That's <laughs> extremely <laughs> clever. <laughs> you must be the brains of the operation, for sure. Hmm? <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. It's a very ingenious solution. Yeah. Uh, where I heard something about imposing or impending doom, so maybe we should go do something about that. Uh, yeah. Yes. I hear the I'm battle station is falling on us. The, yes, that would be the impending doom. Oh. All right. I, I guess so. I'm going to go pass out under the table we're all congregate, congregating at. <laughs> all right, you do so. You have uh, <laughs> thor thoroughly passed out. <laughs> Um, sorry, I realized we never actually resolved the other two things. Uh, Luke and Colin, what do your donations do? Uh, oh. <laughs> you want to do yours, Colin? Oh, yes, uh, because I received a $25 donation, which means that there are six patches in color. <laughs> and for every patch, I have to read up or like rattle off as quick as I can a very complicated tongue twister incantation that tumbles out of Polly's mouth. So uh, let's give it a go, shall we? So the first one I rolled was the uh, ten Transmogrify One Eye patch. So you see a uh, Polly just like go stiff as a board for a second, and just like what passes for a mouth opens and just spews forth a whole uh, you know sentence. No short shrift to the gift to shift ever swift from the drift or to twist animalist and just completely. <laughs> spits that out, uh, and every minute uh, the polymort spell is cast upon me, turning me into a random beast of the DM's discretion. Okay. Uh, wow. removing... of doing this scene, yes. I'm going to say that these animals can talk. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll, I will roll the next one. But for now, you are also a squirrel that is, has a whole bunch of... <laughs> Oh, exciting. <laughs> so I also have patch. 12 eyes. Uh, that no, is some demented like squirrel. <laughs> oh, all right. So you just have random patches on your squirrel body? Yep. I, I guess so. I guess we do. <laughs> uh, so we have uh, the lover's cover. And this squirrel again just spouts off. It'll be soon that this balloon will swoon for any June or loon whom upon their path is strewn. And just... Bastard well, out you. <laughs> you don't know what I mean, no. I'm going to be doing this all night. Uh, so I become charmed by the first unknown creature I lay eyes upon, which lasts until this patch disappears. Uh, and while charmed in this way, I consider this creature the most attractive being I've ever seen. That first unknown creature would probably be uh, what, just some other balloon in here. So I guess p pick a balloon, <laughs> ping it that, for me, and that will be the one. Okay, that one there? This one, all just right, right across. <laughs> Put a little heart there. That 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 balloon is like really it's got a grip on your heart don't even know their name Say, like somewhere hello is it you i'm looking for just you know completely zones out of this conversation All right. uh, let's, let's get the other four i have, the <laughs> <laughs> I have my my whole uh, roll 20 has a blue screen because it's so excited to start <laughs> <laughs> okay i i will roll the uh the patches for you and then you just need Please to do. the answer. Absolutely. Okay, so the four that we got are 
rolls mold fold, I shield the field, forecasters plaster, and then I'll need to re-roll the lover's cover. Got that one again. Nope. <laughs> oh. Nope, he really wants you to have a second stroll mold fold. Oh, right, okay. And also the spellbinder slider. There you go. Okay, well, there are some things that we can do here. Uh, first of all, you will have to look up a spell. Okay. A particular spell? Or like a a spell. No, no, no. I'll roll a d10. Okay. So it's a fourth level spell that oh, I cool, could cool. use once. So if you find a fun one for me. All right, I got you. Right, I remember. Uh, and in the meantime, I will uh, blast out some uh, some very long ton twisters. Uh, so in order, uh, we've had the lover's cover. So the ice shield of field would be, pop, none can stop this swap with some poor fop to flop and to plop or the backdrop. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, which means that I randomly switch places with the creature of the DM's discretion within 60 feet of me at the end of each of my turns. Okay, so during this entire conversation that's going to come, you're going to be shuffling around the table <laughs> as you are just sort of switched repeatedly. As a squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> yes, like a lot of stuff is happening all of a sudden. Uh, the forecaster's plaster goes, it's clicked. I predict I might inflict a maledict to interdict a foe in conflict or a benedict these bros I've picked. Uh, which gives me a single use of the, uh, the portent ability. Okay. Which I will roll. With a 13 to put on somewhere someone. And then I Your believe there's... The spell that you got is greater invisibility. All right. Solid. Spicy. Uh, I have the, the stroll mold fold. So this goes, uh, Commodore, I implore, do not ignore the seashore bore. As before, open the door to any spore, and core galore that you'll abhor soars vapor from your every pore. I'm going to fuck this up mean? at some point. Uh, it says, for every ten feet I travel, uh, spores I leave behind sprout into veggie pygmies. Veggie and the veggie pygmies are neutral to me. <laughs> Uh, and my companions can pursue their own devices. If they're attacked, they roll initiative as a group. Uh, <laughs> if the eye patches remove, any fidget pickings that have come into existence remain. All right, gonna... that's going to have some long-lasting consequences that we probably won't explore. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll be next year's one shot. Yeah. Veggie pygmy extermination. Got, we've got four hours of veggie pygmy spawning. <laughs> yep. And then last, but certainly not least, the uh, spell binders, the uh, blinder. At my age, I'd gauge well wagered any page or macrophage could stage a major's rampage. Mm. Mm. Spicy. Those are the uh, the patches. So you have a, a teleporting enamored squirrel who is spawning fungus people ah! as he goes. Wild. Okay. I know. Uh, Luke, what, what's yours? Um, I rolled on the table, so that means the next time I cast a spell, a simulacrum will appear of me. Uh, that just defends itself for the next minute. Uh, it can't speak or otherwise, and just looks utterly confused. Uh, and uh, a minute later, it turns into snow. Okay. So no. it doesn't do anything now, but it will. It it will. This happens. Probably just like bouncing around and turning into a squirrel. And um, mm -hmm. uh, your your commander is like, uh, okay, so. Yeah. It seems like you, you are uh, getting a jump on that chaos magic. Uh, the moon's getting close, so uh, we'll definitely have to get a hustle here. So, do you know roughly what the premise is with the doubloon? Do you know? Do you know what your job is here? Um, I would require some enlightenment. Okay. So, uh, when the artificial moon of Unun was constructed, uh, it was given a control mechanism. Uh, just in case something like this happened. And that is the Goon Balloon Moon Doubloons. And, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Goon Balloon Moon Doubloons? Thank you. Yes, okay. Um, now these doubloons each give a moon, moon balloon, or Goon Balloon Moon Doubloon boon, um, and give a minor magical effect to the, those who bear it. Uh, but in addition, when gathered together, can uh, readjust Unmoon's moon. Uh, so, 
The problem is we don't actually know where they are. We used to know where they are, but they've sort of been scattered across the moon. Uh, mostly. The... <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Um, <laughs> the one upside we have is that the, the uh, moon doubloons seem to have a uh, attraction towards one another. So once you have one doubloon, uh, it should guide you to the rest. Uh, and fortunately, we do have a doubloon here. Um, and uh, Darun Manoon reaches under the uh, table with their little claw thing and fusses around and has to turn completely upside down. They can't really <laughs> properly. Um, and then pulls out from the bottom of the table a doubloon. At which point, the entire saloon sort of just collapses in on itself and sucks into the doubloon. For, for everybody but you guys at this table. Oh. Okay. Uh, that seems dangerous. Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> anyway. You, you see Paul in Where, look where did everybody man. go? <laughs> yeah, where'd my beloved go? Bring her back, I swear to God, I'll knife you right here. I don't really know. Anyway, here's the saloon doubloon. No! <laughs> um, who, who would like to take the saloon doubloon? <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> oh, you mean they're they're all still in there? Probably. Oh, yep, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> he just grabs it in his claw, claw and just goes. Okay. So I'll give you a safe, my love. <laughs> while you have... now until the ending of the world, which is soon. <laughs> while you have the saloon to bloom, you can cast uh, Mordenkind's magnificent mansion, but instead of actually having an in, like imagine. In, Illusionary mansion in another dimension. It just summons the saloon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a pocket yeah. uh, It is weirdly <laughs> gentle, so you cannot use it offensively. <laughs> you like right. it to sort of push people gently. <laughs> <laughs> it's very polite. Yeah. Um, All right. Anyway, now that the saloon has collapsed, you look around and see that you're actually in a spaceport. Um. Oh. <laughs> right. And Great confusion. <laughs> Darun Manoon's like, alright, so, we are going to get you transportation to the moon. Um, it, we really only have the one functioning spell jammer at the moment, but it is over there. Um, they point and you see a spell jammer, sort of. It looks more like a normal spaceship with like a crab stuck on the back. Um... And it is marked as the uh, GBS Rangoon Typhoon. Ah, the old Love Rangoon it. Typhoons. I, I nudge ships. the squirrel captain, and I think I say I think now I'm the one who's in love. <laughs> oh, for sure, she's a beauty. That one. <laughs> Only one of us can captain her, you know. Call us. You've received enough information. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is. <laughs> oh. have, you, have you seen this? No, I haven't. What is it? It's it's a lot. It's it's fifty bucks. Oh okay. So are you just do you have them all? Is that? Are, have you I I guess I'd become twelve batch. That was way faster than anticipated. Herbie's, right out the gate. We don't let the one who counts she pilot. <laughs> We're gonna have one very spicy encounter and then probably die, and we can start over. <laughs> Excellent. So what happens is the, a few things. So I get the patch of latch, uh, which means that if I touch someone, I freeze to them. I freeze shut to them and take frostbite damage. Yes. Like sticking your tongue on a cold pole. Type exactly. Thing. Yikes. <laughs> So, um, I have to do that one, so. To hold so bold unto the cold fold of which you've been told, is it you who's controlled? Uh, we have got the, the mad lad pad. Oh my god. Yes. Which means that I immediately enter a barbarian rage with all the mechanical consequences thereof. Um, if we are in combat, which fortunately we are not, I must attack the creature that's closest to me and use reckless attack to do so. <laughs> This one goes, uh, 
No straight pate mate takes the bait that made irate. This infill plate reprobates. His fate is no longer sedate. Uh, I have a... Oh, yes. The, the sandbag rag, which is... Ain't it great that the weight's the trait that drops the rate of gate to frustrate this ingrate? Which means that I become over-encumbered immediately. Uh. And can't float. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a problem. Uh, oh yes, and uh, the cloth of the physicoth, which means that functionally I'm now a berserker. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, and it's a uh, yes. Does turning into a berserker give you arms? That's DM's discretion. I'm gonna say no. Okay. Two just two more legs pop out of the side of the goon balloon. <laughs> Mostly armless. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, the cloth of the Visigoth. Uh, should the, ca the clarion of carrion carry on, barbarian? It's very fair to be varying in your contrarian parrying. Uh, we've got the... Uh, there's so much crap. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. We'll be done soon. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, right the double tap scrap, which means I gain extra attack, but I can split attacks, which uh, is... Uh, Two but it's one shoot dead. a brute is to root for a boot up your shoot. You best mute their snoot before they get cute. Uh, we have the leather of inclement weather, which means that as of now, it call lightning spell spawns on me. Remain centered on me as I move. Uh, it targets random enemies within the spell's radius every turn, and if no enemies around, I get hit. So this might last less long than you think. Okay, I'm going to rule that you were out of combat. It's not every turn, because otherwise you would die in the scene transition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. I do have. Uh, I don't have evasion quite yet. So yes, you're right. Yeah. Um, uh, so I have to say, uh, I do wonder by what blunder my plunder rents sky asunder to chunder thunder thereunder. And I think we're done with the tongue twisters for today, until I die, of course. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so, having ascended, um, at this point, you are a, also a glowing golden goon balloon. Um, you're a slightly different hue than your, your friend uh, John over there. Um, but most notably, your, your hat um, has begun to like shine. It became spikier. Um, and now you are the legendary super swashbuckler. Hell yeah. Um, Love it. Most notably, you have a, uh, you would have a fly speed of, uh, 60 feet, but you're over encumbered, so I guess you just have a, <laughs> have a normal moving speed of 30 feet. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking T-pose for it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Nice. And then also you get the extra attack feature, so I guess you now have three attacks. Spicy. Okay. Dang. All right. Um, so you are led over to the uh, GBS Rangoon Typhoon, um, and uh, get on. And who, one of you, other than Polly, needs to take a D4 cold damage for dragging them along because they're otherwise stuck to the ground. The problem is, I already, I also take that damage. Okay, then you both take one D4 and are dragged along. I'm not touching him. <laughs> I will carry my captain to the ends of this moon. <laughs> All right. Zoon's going to startle awake and seeing uh, 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 the pirate balloon going nuts and be like, oh shit, what did I miss? <laughs> and I'm going to throw a bardic inspiration on him. All right. Everything. You missed everything. Just... Kind of look around, go, hey, the bar is gone. <laughs> huh. How are we in space? I'm not answering that question. <laughs> On a deeper level, aren't we always in space? Oh, that's that's too deep. Come on back to sleep. <laughs> uh, if I think too hard, I might pop. <laughs> <laughs> so, dodging lightning, um, you are waddling over towards the uh, the ship and are able to somehow get it off the ground <laughs> and you begin to uh, head towards Unlun's moon uh, 
it's going pretty well for the first like 20 minutes or so. It seems like all um, the, the lightning is just sort of bouncing off the hull of the ship, uh, and like not really doing much problems. Um, going perfectly fine. Yeah, no, it, it, nothing is wrong whatsoever. What am, all, animal? All the, like, am I? Intruder alarms start going off simultaneously. <laughs> Just uh, that noise. <laughs> uh? Nothing to be worried about. Uh, Just, you know, keep carrying on. You are made aware by the ship system that there is something attacking the hull. Now, you all do not need to breathe, so you are able to just go out and be in space, if you would like. Um... You are near enough to either Unlun's moon or the or Unlun that there is still gravity-ish. Um, it's probably not as strong, but you'll, you'll fall towards that. Uh, so, other than that, let's... Who, who would like to go outside? So you said this alarm thing. What does it, what does it mean? Is it... Are we in danger? Is that the music box? What is going on? Something's attacking the hull of the ship, eh? Oh, they should probably go check it out then, shouldn't you? All right. What? You can't send the blind captain out there. He is the captain of the ship blindly. <laughs> I, as first mate of this ship, shall go out and see what is attacking our ship. Okay. Do you carry the captain you. along, or are you just going to go ahead first? And then, like, maybe they'll come later. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to bring the captain along. He has to steer the ship in case we need to make evasive actions okay. against something. Cool. So, so I can I can man the helm, if you want. Hmm. It's fine. Uh, you... Well, Mister, <laughs> point I can't see right now. I'm wholly blind. Why are we letting the of... blind one of us pilot this thing? <laughs> That's what the captain's for. He's piloting the ship, Hello, using his finely honed sense of interstellar navigation. Indeed. Maybe he's captaining by smell. I don't believe we can breathe or have noses, but I will go along with <laughs> it. Okay. Maybe Mind you don't have a nose. I'll follow you up there. One of you can make sure the captain doesn't fly into something he shouldn't. Luke, you're slightly frozen, which is fantastic. And you'd be like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my standard face. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Um, uh, before they go outside, I'm going to cast aid. Okay. Ah, so that's five extra health? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. So you hit point maximum and health. current hit points increase by five. Um, so so you open the, the hatch and sort of like plan for your way out somehow. Um, and as you float out to the front, um, you see several semi-humanoid frog monsters uh, which immediately turn at you and one throws a fireball at you. So I do need you to make a deck save. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's great. Uh, is, that, is that just him? Is that for the both of us? It is uh, just... Did anyone go with him? I think I reluctantly went with him. Okay, well then Look. you also do need to make a deck save. Look at that, a mighty 10. All right, so neither of you make the save uh, and take 27 fire damage as a gigantic <laughs> fireball goes off. Uh, and then I'm going to need everybody to roll for initiative as the uh, ship is being uh, festooned by Slod. Oh uh, no! So, <clears throat> that fireball killed me. <laughs> oh, you just dead? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> okay, so... I regret this immediately! Out, and immediately just, <laughs> just pops and is dispersed. <laughs> Now, luckily, this ship is actually packed to the gills with, with uh, all of your assorted family members. They're, just on, <laughs> they're on the lower decks. So uh, someone gets a message to uh, John's next of kin, and uh, they will appear at John's initiative. On two. <laughs> uh... All right. Uh, so, I mean, I might as well just uh, try and pop myself for that extra initiative, you know. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna use some some blood bloodletting for awareness. Let me see. Gotta scroll all the way down to it. Do some of that. 
roll my Hemocraft die. Uh, uh, that wasn't correct. Uh, but let's just do that. Plus my... Um, oh, I didn't select my token. Hold on. Uh, so total of 15. That's <laughs> so not even that great. Resolve the dexterity uh, the, the initiative for the assorted slods. Uh, they are all plus two. That's six. Sixteen. And eleven. Alright. Polly, you are currently inside. Um, and we'll need to scramble over to the rest of the group to be outside. Um, but otherwise, it is your turn. Can I make a perception check to figure out which way I need to go? Because I'm blind. <laughs> I mean, you heard the you heard the explosion. Right, that way. <laughs> just starts waddling, twelve patches dangling off, just moving on through. Uh, where's the exit? Uh, I'll say, how about that space that you're in right now? So you, you, right. you just popped out. I uh, stick my my head out mm -hmm. of the uh, the porthole and say, uh, "Ah, slide! I can smell the smell of me bones." I just hoist myself out and uh, yeah, make ready to fight. Uh, actually, what I will do is I will cast uh, a creature invisibility upon myself. All right. So Polly uh, sticks their head out and goes, "Ah, slide!" and then vanishes. <laughs> Take heart, me hearties. I'm still here. All right, and, uh, uh, John too. I, I I do have a bonus action too. Oh, to go ahead, do that. I do have a cunning action, so I'll move up and attempt to flank. All That's right. it. Yeah, you're hustling along. <laughs> um, John, or John too. You you have just hustled up from the lower deck. <laughs> um, and it's like, all right, I heard about going? What's happening? What's, what is happening? Uh, oh dear. Uh, and I'm going to uh, go. Uh, magic belt, do something. Uh, and I will cast a scorching ray at the closest target, which I believe is this one. All right, so the first thing that happens is all the light that had gathered on your body, um, because John 2 was still inex also inexplicably glowing. Um, it passes into the uh, ray gun as it's about to shoot, and the damage that you deal, uh, it does all that damage, and then that same amount also as radiant. <laughs> Ooh! Oh. Damn. All right. Uh, all right, so I'll, I'll roll for it. I guess uh, I'm talking about talking. Meta can I be heard better? Sorry, it's kind of hard to tell what the sound balance is like when I can't hear it. <laughs> okay, wow, you crit! That's, oh yikes. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so that's uh, 19 fire and 19 radiant. Which one were you attacking? Uh, the closest one, so I believe this one. This okay. blue one. Uh, and also, because I cast that a simulacrum of his, of myself, yes. who pretty oh. much does nothing. Uh, in addition, uh, time stop is also cast, and it, is a, it also affects two other random creatures, so uh, it's up to your choice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, roll 2d8. Okie dokie. Still low? Okay, one sec. Alrighty, so that's as high as it goes. Uh, if you need it to go higher than that, I will have to turn everybody else down, and then you'll just turn the volume of the stream up. So, l let me know how that is. And sorry, um... 
Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, that's for other people. Um, one, two. So the green slot is not time, is not time stop. And uh, John 2.5 is also not time stopped. <laughs> so uh, I just do your thing. Okay. Uh, is it's a D4 for time stop, isn't it, for number of turns? Yes, I think. Oh, okay. Jesus. Well, I mean, it also ends as soon as anyone takes damage, so... That's very true. Yeah, yeah. so as soon as I cast that, nothing happens. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah. Time does briefly stop, and then you shoot the other two rays, and it resumes. Yep. <laughs> so we'll say that the, the, the one ray that you cast during time stop is yeah. just automatically a crit, so... And then I'll fire the other two into the same creature. Okay. Just three rears, if I'm not mistaken. I was saying that you could also... The, the first one would just count as a crit, so... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So roll me, I guess, 66 more, because it's a 2d6 six. fire, a 4d6 radiant. Okay, cool. 18... 26. All right. Cool. That slot's not looking so great. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes, we did done. We did something. Um, I don't feel safe anymore. Uh, Captain? Uh, mm -hmm. That's my turn. Right uh, here, boy all. Stay in the fight. Your uh, group sort of has this weird experience of like almost seeing in lag for a second because like his second shot like jumped forward. This <laughs> <laughs> is the like half second time stop. <laughs> that's awesome. Anyway, uh, zoom the sleepy balloon. You're up next. Oh, Luke, you received a donation. Oh, oh dear. So uh, you resolve okay, that so... while he's taking his turn. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay, uh, so just to make sure we're still down, like, inside the ship at the moment and gotta oh. climb probably, the ladder and get out. Yeah, you're, you're like five feet away from the exit, but yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to float up. Uh, actually, nah, uh, I can probably just climb up the, the ladder and get out, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then is there a reasonably hidden spot where I can, like, just kind of hunker down and take a nap and not try not to be seen by the slots? Uh, you could try. You might be able to, like, tuck yourself in over here, or you could, like, go hide under the crab. Okay, actually, I will do that. <laughs> yeah. The crab is alive, by the way. Like, it, it's not entirely <laughs> active, but it is there as just a giant crab. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know, that's right next to the engine. That's probably a little loud. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna come over here, and I'm going to, like, kind of sit down, lean against the, uh, the little part that's sticking up there, and take a nap, uh, but first I'm going to throw some fucking spells around. Uh, I'm going to fairy fire that guy. Which guy? Okay, cool. He's been the, okay. uh, so fairy the fire is slot. an AoE. You can probably get both of the blue ones if you want. Ooh, red! Okay, so uh, yeah. Dex yep. Alright, their save is... Tails of Dex Ooh, save. Geez. I think it's Dex 14. Sorry about that, folks. I don't know who's... Mike just did that squeak sound, but... It... <laughs> I, I did just accidentally punch my microphone, That's so that might have been me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think they both make their saves. Yikes. Uh... Weirdly agile for, like, ten-foot-tall hulking frog people. <laughs> I know! What's up with that? But, uh... Yeah, I think that's all I can do at the moment. Okay. Uh, and I'll just sleep a little bit. Cool. Um, the, some of the slots are up next, but I would like to just do a quick aside um, to the uh, chat that thank you for like going so hard right out of the gate <laughs> for <laughs> donations, because like this is hour one of what will end up being about 24 hours of streams. 
So, <laughs> thank you for, <laughs> like, we may have to update our goal later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's uh -huh. been going, like, just throwing money to get <laughs> those eye patches on. <laughs> those eye patches. <laughs> It's like, oh, you thought you were going to have some time. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> one, one thing I did just notice, uh, we forgot to resolve the call lightning at the end of the legendary 12 patch. Okay, let's let's do that then. Uh, so I'll just roll uh, between me and the slots then. Sure. Is, is it at random or is it... Yeah, I think it, it hits me or enemies. Okay. Let me then take a look at that. Roll a d5, I guess. Targeting a random enemy. If there are no enemies... It's me. Okay, then a d4, since there are enemies. Two. Okay. You also have Bardic Inspiration. You're going to hit the green slot. I and will use Bardic that, Inspiration so. doesn't apply to saves. Yeah, I'm not this <laughs> no, but, but just I, a reminder. I'll, I'll, use, I'll <laughs> use that at some point, too. All right, it does it's not, not make it save. Roll the damage for the lightning. Excellent. I think it's 3d10, if I recall correctly. Okay. Well, this thing is going to be upset at you, and is going <laughs> to... Uh, make much smaller fireballs than the one it opened with, and huck them in your direction. Me? Yes. I'm invisible. Fair. Doesn't know where you are. Um, <laughs> it takes 17 lightning damage. It takes 17 lightning damage. I guess, who would it, it... Failing that, who would it think that the lightning is coming from? It just comes from above. Yeah, I know, but like, it's smart enough to realize this is the effect of a spell, so it's like, who's doing this? I'm gonna uh, say I've, seen, space one. I've seen John 2.5, and I'll just nudge him closer so he <laughs> seems like it. <laughs> Alright, cool. It's like it, pointing it, it with one of your feet. Same guy. guy. <laughs> yeah, it, it saw a balloon clone itself and stop time. It's probably going to target that one. <laughs> no, no. Not me. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it is going to John 2.5. It's fine. So, one, two. Does 18 hit your AC? Uh, I, uh, yes, it is. Okay. It's exactly 18, so yeah. Uh, first one does 16 fire damage, second one does 9 fire damage. Uh, is, yeah, he pop. Oh, he turns to snow, sorry. He uses a simulacrum. Yes. <laughs> he pops in the snow. <laughs> yes, he pops. Um, Colin, you mm. received donation. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I guess bank it until you die? <laughs> yes, that, would, that seems most fair. Yeah. <laughs> Stored eye patches. Okay, um, Muldoon, show us the All way right. of the Blood Hunter. <laughs> All right, so the first Muldoon popped last round. Oh yes. But there was no, there was no one around to get hit by the thunder damage. So, so Muldoon two comes up through the whatever like the access hatches, yeah. using a bonus action to activate his crimson right. Okay. Channeling the electricity into himself, and he's going to rush recklessly at this big old guy, and okay. he's going to try and see, and hopefully bounce off in a in a good way, and okay. make that work. Does um, the crimson right cost you? Does this that make you roll your human craft die? Is that how that works? Uh, what was that? Do you need to like roll your human craft die to use your crimson right, or is that just free? Uh, so I need to use it, so I do that, pay 11 hit points from that. So, um, that is actually lower than your current hemograph die, because that's a d12. That's Let just, me... why is it, it's, it's like not applying, like I put in, I keep on editing it and putting in the additional 1d10, but it keeps on, uh, keeps on going away. Okay, we could fuss with that later. For now, just roll a d10. Alright, uh, so roll a d10. Okay, so 12. You take 12, and then you may continue okay. your turn. Alright, um, and then let's see, what is... Now, hold on, so I think because of the perk I have, I think the new ones get an advantage on Attacks. Oh yeah, because it just got this here. Turn. All right. <laughs> um. So I'm going to go and make my rush recklessly, and take the higher result on that. I just realized that I actually never said what my gimmick is, um, which is notable. <laughs> um, 
if people donate to the DMs page, um, any donation of $2 or more has weird random moon magic. I have a edited table of 10,000 random magical effects. Um, and they will either be between a random target and caster, or you could choose who the two targets are. Um, or, for a donation of $20 or more, you could pick any goon balloon on screen at the time and kill them. Oh. <laughs> well. All right, hold on, let's see. So I guess does 20 hit? Yeah, 20 hit. That does. Okay, so the first guy is going to take the five bludgeoning plus 10 lightning damage. And then we need to see where I end up from rushing recklessly at this guy. Okay. Uh, I don't think he's going to know to try to catch you right in a second, so I think you just choose to bounce. Okay. So do I have the ability to choose where I bounce to, or...? Does it say that it's random, or do you just bounce? I think, uh, I mean, if we want to do it, I just pinball around? Yeah, just pick it. All right, so sure, I'm going to you know, kind of end up on this guy, then bounce to the one that, that people have been hitting and try and hit him again. So let's see, so still advantage, uh, so 21. Okay. Hit, and then another... 15 lightning damage. That's 22 damage. He does resist lightning. God, this is so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very complicated. That's lightning damage um, plus thung noing damage. All right. <laughs> yeah, also thung <laughs> I like it. All right, so does this guy try to catch me? Uh, Sure. Well, we'll say he tries to catch you. Uh, but one sec, I'm doing math on all this life that just went down. Uh, so this guy took 10. That guy took 14. Okay, cool. Um, so he needs to make a dex save DC 10, is that what it was? Yes. He catches you. Alright, cool. And then, because I've rushed recklessly, I take an, an four more points of damage that all right and then i think that's just uh me and his clutches right now okay um the first thing it's going to do is it's going to try to bite you um so that is plus eight to hit um i noticed that your character sheet said your ac is 10 is that accurate uh it should be uh, so I have studded leather armor, so it's twelve. Okay, cool, much better. I just double <laughs> check. I was just going in earlier today, and it was it was not registered. Yeah. All right, so the bite misses, uh, and instead he's just going to try to squeeze you with his two claws because he's multi attack. Uh, one of those hits. Um, you were lucky you dodged the bite though, because that did piercing damage. Uh, so the claw. does 14 slashing damage and I need you to make a con save a con save yes okay let's see let's let's see about that 17 okay cool you are unaffected by chaos phage um, then the other one is gonna probably wander over in this direction yeah, it's going to try and attack the guy who tried to make fairy lights hit it. So, first off is the bite. What's that, what? I was just saying, like, I had recently rammed into him and dealt a good bit of damage. The other guy's holding him. Mm. You're right there. Like, he doesn't feel He's already to. occupied. Yeah. <laughs> I assume an 11 doesn't hit you? I do believe no. Okay, I cool. think my C is, like, 12 or 13. All right, the bite misses. 14. Even better. Okay, 14. So only one claw hits again. And so you take 12. And oh, no. I'm not going to make us roll for Chaos Phage, I'm realizing, because there's no way any of you survived the 24 hours it takes to be relevant. No. That's not. Okay. Uh, next up is the Death Slot. Um, who... 
is also going to use Fireball. Uh, targeting... Actually, no, not really. It's going to use Fly, so we can fly around now. <laughs> um, and it's going to fly over to like this area where balloons keep coming out of. Uh, but Fly is an action, so he's not going to actually do anything yet. He's just sort of there, menacingly. All right, the legendary twelve patch. You're hidden. Hey, <laughs> indeed legendary I am. Twelve but patch. I'm, but I'm feeling rather irate. I am. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to swing around this bastard, and I'm going to get up my rapier and stab him. Party right. inspiration. <laughs> I'm, yeah, on it. Uh, uh, okay. Well, uh, I am at advantage here because I am unseen. Yep. So, here we go. Okay, yeah, that'll hit. Okay, for 16 piercing damage. Bang. It's including sneak attack. Then there's another one for 25 to hit for 7 piercing damage. Okay. Let's see, here we pick. I got a direction. Uh, Agnell, you didn't put anything in the donation marker, but let me know if you have a choice. Otherwise, I'll do it soon. Um, <laughs> All right. Sorry. So I have uh, bonus. You did have a sneak attack there, so you could roll. Wait, you're not. You are a rogue, right? Yeah. <laughs> I am a rogue. Fifth level rogue. I did roll the sneak attack damage. Is it part of it? Oh, it's built yes. in. Cool. Never mind. Yeah, I set that up. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sick. Yes. And then, uh, as a, uh, yeah, you, you know what? I'll just do it. I'll uh, drop around and come up with a dra dagger and bonus action dagger him as well. Okay. So, so many attacks. I mean, I have now. <laughs> it's a uh, decent roll as well. So is this the power of the legendary super eye patch? You it should is. have actually a third attack, right? Because you have the barbarian one that gives you two. The yeah, that's correct, go. actually. Yeah. Yep, so <laughs> then there will be another rapier attack. Okay. He's a monster. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> so you just see... You, well, you don't see anything. You just see wounds appear yeah, on the slot. A small on cloud yeah! of blood. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hear very loud <laughs> noises, and like this, this thing goes to ribbons invisibly. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm living in a nightmare. All right, John yeah. 2. Uh, uh, turn, I oh, randomly yeah. teleport to switch places with uh, someone within 60 oh, okay. feet of me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Roll D8. And there's also the lightning uh, yes. comes down. Roll D8. There we go. 6. Okay. You replace it with John. Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh, oh <dear. laughs> How on earth? He thinks that you stabbed him now. <laughs> um. <laughs> I, I promise you could say it was not me. I, I promise you. Uh, please don't hurt me. And I'm going to uh, put a cast thunder wave. Okay. So you start uh, what's that, the we best? Need to do the call lightning to yeah. number four. Uh, yes, that will be this blue slot here. All right. How big an AOE is it? Or is it one? one no, target? it's just one. one okay, picture. cool. Never mind. Dex save. Uh, Dex save. Else. 15 lightning. Okay. Alright. So you can do your thunder wave now, John. Yes. Uh, so he does thunder wave, uh, and it's going to be basically on these two slides right here. Okay. Uh, it's because it's a 15 foot cord. And as he does, the uh, the belt goes off again, which means there's a bonus action for the next minute. I can just misty step. Uh, and he's, you see the belt kind of crackle, and he goes, achoo! And he was just going to like uh, move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 over there. Go, <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Uh, that's his turn. Okay, they both make the save. Um, so they're going to take half damage and not be pushed. Um, I don't know what John 2.5 does. 
I think I'm pretty sure he just looks right. Just, there, yeah. yeah, just kind of just, look, just looking a bit aimlessly. Just... Like he's whimpers. Probably whimpers. Yeah. Since he got hit. Uh, I guess John 2 is also then going to use his rest of his movement just to kind of run as far over here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and just like, there, there's an end to the ship. I can't go anywhere else. <laughs> All right, Zoom, you're up. There is a very large frog in front of you. Uh, I'm going to cat. Uh, after getting a big, big old bite taken out of me, I'm going to start awake and tell the slot, why don't you join me for a nap and cast command on him? Okay, so the word, the one word is nap? Nap. Okay. Um, what kind of save is this? I believe it's wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. All right, I don't know if these frogs are wise. Ooh, actually, first, before I do that, can I... Uh, what was the thing? Uh, unsettling words. As a bonus action, I can expend one of my bardic inspirations and subtract the bardic inspiration die roll from the next saving throw it makes before the start of my next okay. turn. So can I do that so first and then the command? Die. Zoom. Uh, like one more thing zoom. is, uh, the, there was another gimmick what also went off, which was from a $20 donation, which was uh, uh, haste is cast on a random target. Okay, roll D8, or D9 for me, I guess. D9. Oh, yeah, there's That's no D8 dice for that. Two, so it has a minus four on this save. Is 14 enough to hit your DC? I think 14 is exactly my DC. So it does make it. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> Let me double check. Yeah, save DC 15. All right, are you happy where you are, or are you going to move? Uh, I am. I'm going to move over to this side. Okay, that will trigger an attack of opportunity. Is that okay? Isn't he napping? Oh, wait, it's on their turn. Uh... Well, they made a save. 14 oh, to DC, no. right? 14, uh, 15 is my DC, Oh, yeah. okay, then it didn't make the save. Then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, that's it, what I was thinking. It does still have a reaction because it happens on their turn, yeah. Happens on their turn. Right, 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 right. That's fine. Uh, I'll eat it. Okay, he's gonna try and bite you. Let's see what happens. Which is just gonna plus eight hit, yeah. Sixteen sure does hit me. Okay. Should probably just gonna explode, but let's find out. So you take eleven piercing damage, so that's twenty two. <sighs> Since you are vulnerable to piercing damage. Bang! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am a. Uh, yep. I oh. pop. No! Oh, oh. Sorry, hold on. No! I'm not being funky. <laughs> you monsters! Yeah. Oh my god. Now it's war. There we go. I don't think I want that one. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, um, so you pop in a cloud of poisonous gas. Uh, so it needs to make a con save. Mm-hmm. It does make its con save. It's not <laughs> poisoned. All right, so Zoom 2 will show up at the beginning of your next turn. Cool. But for now, you're just sort of like a pile of balloon scraps. Um, the green uh, slot... I rolled a 1 for the target of the haste as well, whoever that oh, is. it's you. Oh. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the green slot is going to turn to look at the person who apparently eviscerated his blue friend and then thunder waved and ran away. <laughs> Please don't come closer to me, good sir. Um, I mean you no harm. <laughs> I think he's gonna attack you with some fire. Uh, two hurl flames. One, two. Does 14 hit your AC? 
no. Okay, so just the one. Uh, none of them do, because my AC is now 20, because of haste. Oh, jeez. All right, yeah, you, you are able to duck and weave your way out of all that fire, and then you see... I'm so sorry! Right? And then, uh, he's gonna, like, pick up his staff and sort of trundle towards you. Uh, hello! He's looming over you. Muldoon, it is your turn. All right. So how is this slod holding me? Can I, like, claw at him with my toe Absolutely. hands? Absolutely. You are not restrained, but I think you are grappled. <laughs> cool. I'm going to just try and attack him with my with my balloon claws. All right. Let's see about that. All right. So 25 to hit, and then... So I noticed there's no dice on your claws. That's just your mod. Hmm. This this has not gone to plan at all. <laughs> mm. It's so it, like it shows the one, but I guess it doesn't. It, it might be like, using it as the example, and you actually need to type in the one. Yeah. So let me try that. See if that works again. Okay. I think that one's fine. And then I'm going to then also some lightning damage. So was it five slashing? And then 13 lightning damage. Okay. That's a sizable slash. But I think yeah. Like an attack. Uh, yes. So let me let me roll that again. All right, 21 to hit uh, for nine slashing, and then eight lightning damage. Okay. Those actually ended up being the same amount. Okay. No, no, it didn't. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? That's... I think that's it. Okay. It's going to try and eat you now. Well, it, I mean, they oh. can do that. It won't like it, no. but it can do that. It's, it's going to try, though. Um, <laughs> all right. Since uh, Dan Street has not picked someone to explode yet, it will now be chosen at random. I see one, two, three. There are four balloons on the screen currently because Zune is currently dead. Well, so you're gonna kill the Zunes oh, wait, no, sorry. before it arrives. Two point five already turned into snow. You're right. Sorry. So it is. Uh, so I guess it's just a D three. Uh, I got bad news, John. <laughs> <laughs> so, on! You are like backing up. And, like no, don't don't hurt me. Please don't. Please don't hurt me. Please um, oh, I'm okay. And oh. then, <laughs> from somewhere, just off in the distance, you're not entirely sure where it comes from, but a dart just zips by and punches a hole straight through John. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he pops. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh no, dear. Everyone get down, there's no team to die. <laughs> So the rest of you are like looking around, like what just happened? But you don't see anything immediately. Um, anyway, Blue Slot is going to try and bite Muldoon. That will be enough. I think he just gets it. He, he, he bites you. <laughs> he cannot possibly do a low enough damage to not kill you. Right. I mean, I've only got four HP left. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I need to be alive to use a reaction, right? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Okay, um, all right. But, but if it's something uh, that question. happens in reaction to the attack, you can do it. No, it's okay. it's a result of taking damage. But okay. I do get to go out with a bang. So let me find where that is. Oh, that's true. The one in front of me also that... needs to do the same thing. So they need to make a DC. So everyone, all enemies within, or I guess technically anyone within 12 or 10 feet of me needs to make a DC 12 constitution save or take thunder damage equal to two rolls on the Hemocraft okay, die. So that's the blue slot that's holding you and the death slot. The blue slot crit fails. <laughs> the death slot makes it. All right. I mean, not great. Uh, so let's see. So total of 14 lightning or thunder damage to the inside of that slot's mouth. I'm going to give you a little bit of a bonus here because one, you put it to six and two, you were in its mouth. So I was going to say that he just bites into it, and then his head explodes. Zap. Damn. So Muldoon has fallen, 
but so has the slot that bit him. <laughs> <laughs> the death slot looks over, over, like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> um, there are no living visible goon balloons on the face, though. EPK, I love it. I guess I'll just try to attack the ship. Yeah, um, he'll, 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 he'll go over crab? and try to, try to fight the, the, the crab that is the core of the ship. I'm not going to roll dice for that, but he, he is beginning to attack the, the, the core. Uh, the legendary 12th batch, you somehow still survived. <laughs> do I know, do I know whether this crab is essential to the operation? Oh, the absolutely, yeah, no, it, the, the, the crab is... Basically, how you generate thrust. Well, we can't be out with that, can we? So he will uh, swashbuckler run around. He doesn't even have to do that. Why would he do that? He will um, do a little dervish whirl on the ground, uh, grab his uh, daggers from his bandolier, and start throwing them knife style at right. this. Uh, this uh, well, I'm still invisible, I'm so still there's invisible. Uh, some stuff. And I'm going to make the sharpshooter, just for the fun of it. Oh, wait, <laughs> sorry. You can't attack him. You're still doing your Berserker Rage. You need to attack the nearest creature. That is true. Uh, in that case, I will still do the same thing yeah. against this one. Uh, I'm next to him. No, no, that's fine. I'll, I'll just stab this one, then. Let's uh, that's, uh, be normal about this or something. All right, 25. That'll hit. Yep, 16 damage. Noted. All right, and then we got another one coming in. Sixteen. That will also hit for nine damage. Okay. And then uh, ten. And this one, I will switch the roll with. No, I'll, I'll add my bardic inspiration actually. So that's how much? A D eight. Okay. Ooh, nice. Ooh. So I think that yeah, might hit. That'll do it. Hell yeah. So that would be uh, five on top of that as well. All right. And then just to, to rub it in as a bonus action, just a, a little dagger. A little stab as well. All right. No for worries. seven. No, that's less, actually, because I don't get to add the decks. So that would be four. Ah, okay. So not the worst. All right. So, yeah, uh, again. John 3 um, emerges three. out of a uh, heretofore unknown hatch. <laughs> I, Quick! I will. They are dealing. They, they're trying to destroy the ship. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, you are uh, already under the effect of the haste stuff. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. I feel, I feel, I feel alive. alive. Sorry, what was that, Colin? It says to teleport and do lightning. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, so you can't teleport with John because he isn't here yet. No. Uh, so one, two, three. Roll, roll one, two, three. Okay, you switch places with the slot you were just stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> the most confused slot in the universe. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, so... Uh, and also the lightning would be a, three D, a D3 then, yep. I suppose. Three. Okay, roll the damage. Or, uh, I guess I'd need to roll save first, but roll the damage anyway. <laughs> yeah. Fails the save. So I'll take some lightning. So 14 lightning. There you go. All right. That's it. Cool. Uh, John three. Now you may begin your turn. Okay. So when do I arrive here? Yes. Okay. So I'm like, brother, and then I'll, and I'll like, he'll kind of shake a little bit, and then uh, you see like a little like device pops out, just like out of his bag of holding, and then it just goes do do do, and it comes and creates a tiny little turret. <laughs> Kill it! It's slaying our brother. Uh, it's gonna fire a little turret. Uh, when I find the false ballista. Uh, da, da, da. All right, yeah. that'll hit. And he's just going to scream in this lad's face. <laughs> <laughs> and try and run around him. <laughs> yeah, make him dizzy. <laughs> All right, that's it. zoom two. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got two actions, actually, don't I? Because I hate. Oh, yeah, 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 good. <laughs> As, I'll, I'll try and claw him. <laughs> Uh, it's it's some amount of damage which I didn't put in because I didn't think I'd use it. Okay. Uh, so it's like a it, it, D4, isn't it? It's a D6 plus your strength, but 
You can only use I'm not floating. You can only use your claws if you're floating. So that's a good point. Uh, I will use firebolt then. Okay. Because I can do that instead. There we go. Miss. Right. Well, actually, green salts don't have a time of speed. Oh, still missed that. Okay. Um, Zoom two uh, is gonna astral project into being here. Uh, it, it was within its own nap dimension and has been summoned through its brother's dying nap. Nap dimension. <laughs> Taking a long nap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So Colin, you've continued to bank patches because you've just got another donation. Oh boy. Dang. Oh boy. <laughs> Forever twelve patch. Forever. Uh, infinite you. twelve patch. Uh, I am going to I'm going to uh, lightly nudge uh, the legendary 12 patch and give him another bardic inspiration does bardic inspiration say a creature you can see <laughs> oh crap yeah uh, <laughs> I think so <laughs> It's fine, lad. I got this. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Am I still asleep? <laughs> um, I'm going to... I'm going to try and fairy fire the, uh, the death slot. Okay. Um, so that is once again... A. Save. I believe so, yeah. Makes it safe. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's an action, so I have a bonus action. Ooh, I'm going to give myself Bardic Inspiration. There you go. And all of this was done without adjusting from uh, resting on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Is that the end of your turn? That's it. All right, the green slot is going to wheel around on this new balloon that's been harassing it. Um, and it's going to just try and attack you with its staff and with biting you. So for, let's do the bite first. That'll miss. Yep. And then the, two, miss. the two staff attacks. Can't roll for shit. You cannot hit me, good sir. <laughs> Have at thee. Nice. Sorry, I got a notification. That was... I thought it was a finishing thing. It was not. All right. Uh, Muldoon 3. You've risen from the ashes. All right. So, first I just say, man, this ship is like all hatches. <laughs> man, <laughs> I don't know where the engines are. Kind of weird. Let's get on with it. So, bonus action. Deal nine damage to myself. Okay. Turn on Crimson Right. Um, because of my... I have a slight leak. I My move speed is 25, so I can get up to behind this slot attacking the engines okay. and then attack it twice with advantage. Okay. Are you attacking with, like, a weapon or claws? Or? Claws. Okay, so you bonus action float? Yes. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, so then, let's, so I'm going to go, attack, uh, so I guess the first attack, 24 to hit. Okay, uh, that will hit. And second set, 20, uh, yeah, 21 to hit. Also hit. All right, uh, so 14 damage from that, and then two rolls on that, uh, 17. 28. Okay. Just lightning to, just damage? To be clear, is the gnowing damage supposed to be lightning? Is which one? In, in your chemocraft die, it's, you have eight lightning damage plus three thick gnowing damage. Listen, I, listen I, I'm misspelling things. It's totally fine. I'm just asking if it's supposed to be lightning. <laughs> it's also lightning damage. Okay, cool, Everything cool. is lightning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. No gnowing. shame on how, like, the, the actual like, nonsense. It's, it's vulnerable to thick gnowing damage. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Yes, that is the end of my turn. Okay. The remaining blue slot is going to 
Attack the one it can see. <laughs> Actually, it's no, no, it, it, it's going to just take the disadvantage and try to attack the one that it can't see. Um, <laughs> Right. Although, notably, actually, that's a straight roll, because you can't see it either. Uh... You're, you're blind, right? Why would I not be able to see it? Because of the 12 eye patches. patches yeah. all of 12 eye patches. patches. That's right. Oh, shit, it's a straight roll. <laughs> well. That's... Gotcha. <laughs> thing. It's just going to try and bite you. That's a crit. Oh, no! Uh, I will... I can't. I have to say that beforehand, do I? The portent. No, no, you no, can no, do it after it's gone. After the roll, you can only use it after the roll. Like, because you can take it and change, right? Uh. Alright, I think well, so. Isn't it like after the roll, but before. Before I put its effects through, yeah. So. Okay. Now, now would be the so, appropriate time. Okay. Th I will replace this with the 13. Okay. So 13 plus My 8 portent. is still 21. That's still ahead. Yeah, okay. that still hits, but it doesn't crit. Not double. <laughs> okay. okay. Downgrade those damage dice. Alright, you take 12 piercing. Alright. Uh, I will I will actually use uh, my uncanny dodge to half okay. that. Okay, you reduce that to 12 instead of it being double. <laughs> Alright. Because you're vulnerable to piercing, so... <laughs> yep, I know. Um, and then it's going to try to okay. attack you with some claws. Claw one, claw two. They both hit. Okay. All right. How about I use my reaction to use Blood Curse of the Eyeless to reduce yes. one of those attacks by a roll of my Hemocraft die? Okay. Which would you like to pick? Uh, the the first one that he didn't dodge out of. Okay. Reducing it by so 21 subtract is subtract twenty one from his to hit on that. All right, Jeez. one of them misses. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so it's trying to punch you, and then like it suddenly starts bleeding out of its eyes, and it's like this somehow makes me less accurate to hit something invisible. <laughs> and attack something else. So then the last, the one that does hit though, is going to do fifteen slashing. That's that's just enough. Oh, that's rip. that'll pop me. <laughs> yeah, so you did see twelve patch just being impaled. <laughs> Pops out. Uh, and oh, the captain going. was there. <laughs> well, that's what was what? happening. <laughs> I thought the captain was already dead. <laughs> I thought he was piloting uh, the ship. The the disturbing part is at this juncture is. Twelve patch just gonna come out from under the ship because I have some banks patches. Yeah, bro. I mean, do you have twelve banks <laughs> patches? Right. I st I think I do actually. Okay, well then you're going legendary twelve patch two. All right. <laughs> or, as Dang. or as some refer to it, ascended legendary twelve patch. <laughs> yes. Yes. Done. Uh, uh. Yeah. And then the death slot uh, is going to be like. Fine, all of you, become my minions! And you're like, wait a minute, slots can talk? Um, and then it sort of just like reaches up and it shoots out this rain of slot tadpoles that's going to try to infest everybody with. Um, and you see that it seems to be holding a coin of some kind, perhaps some sort of doubloon. Amazing. Um, so mm -hmm. I need... Uh, Basically, yeah, everybody to make a deck save for me as this rain of. Uh, <laughs> God, <don't>. <laughs> um, <laughs> as the. Uh, uh, it just sort of rains these tadpoles everywhere to avoid getting festooned. You do not want us to be your minions. I, I would. <laughs> that is not a good idea. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna add Bardic Inspiration. Okay. Rad. Okay, you're still in the right? I don't see. Oh, oh wait, wow. do I have that set to just me? I do. <laughs> I rolled a nine. <laughs> um, I was trying to give you the out to let you roll again, but you should. <laughs> the 16 is enough anyway. Um, okay, so Muldoon, you're the only one that gets affected here. Um, you're going to take. Nine necrotic damage 
as uh, tadpoles burrow into your body, which is just sort of a weird sensation. They just sort of burrow through, and then you sort of like bouncing around in the big hollow interior. Uh, <laughs> uh. Uh, and then uh, he's going to draw a great sword and take one swing at you. Will do. Okay, so you take um, a 12 slashing and 8 necrotic damage. I don't know if that makes a difference for you. Uh, let's... No. Okay. That is 12 patch 2. How do you get here? I, I will burst out of the ground, just like <laughs> full-on what do you call it? Whack-a-mole? Yeah. <laughs> Emerge out of a porthole going <laughs> you never can kill the Ascended 12 legendary patch and just, uh, yeah start r rattling off my, uh, my tongue twisters. Uh, the captain lives! I'm I never died! <laughs> <laughs> This is a full-on We Are Spartacus moment. Uh, <laughs> I'm totally not the other person's sister. <laughs> precisely. Uh, I do have some stuff to roll. I have to roll for a spell that I can. Okay, right. So, so that's a fifth level. Oh, you right. can a pick something spicy. Dang. Um, uh, and I also have to uh, roll a portent. Okay. The spell oh, no. you get is creation. <laughs> Interesting. Right. Bold choice. Love it. <laughs> Interesting. All right, that, that'll be an out-of-combat thing. Uh, being no longer invisible, I can finally do what my class was meant to do. How is this slot looking? He's pretty beat up. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's uh, put him out of his misery, shall we? Go for it. Uh, yes. So I will uh, turn on all the things uh, and start slashing. So it would be an advantage, but at this advantage, because I'm blind, I still get... Uh, Sneak attack because this is my uh, buddies next to me. Yep. It's a uh, twenty-two to hit for an obscene amount of piercing damage. Yeah, you just like put it right through its face. <laughs> now the other side. <laughs> ah! It just yes, comes fully fledged out of the ground. Just stabs a slot <laughs> right through his skull. I, I just to... wheels around. You you come out sword first, upside down, just like. <laughs> 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 I'm back, rubber lovers! <laughs> <laughs> and just, uh, yeah. I mean, this is the, the man who's messing with my ship, so I'm going to throw some some uh, sharpshooter uh, daggers on him. Okay. So that's a, a really low number to hit. So that All would be miss. a thing. Yeah. <laughs> and an even lower number. Also miss. Lord. All right. Well, that's uh, I, I got a bonus action. Uh, let me use that to dash. So I will run over. I'll run over here. Okay. Yeah. John three. What is your will? Uh, he will go. There's more pressing matters, it seems. But John, follow me. And he's going to go 5, take the attack of opportunity, uh, try to 10, you. 15. That's a crit. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I can't shield that. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, can I, can I port 10 this roll? Yes. <laughs> I will say yes, because <laughs> you got it right now. That was, that was, that was instant kill. Without the double damage, that's instant yeah. kill. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll turn it into an 8. Okay, so. does 15 hit you? No. Okay. Thank so God. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Ha! 
you, your life flashes before Finch. your eyes as the bite just like snaps like inches from your <laughs> your thin bone flesh. Uh, so Run, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'll move there and the little turret will just start like scooting along as well. And I'll go, fire! And I'll, like, I'll point my leg up. And uh, as a bonus action, it's going to fire the force blister at the one uh, like, attacking the grab. Okay. Uh, and then uh, out of the belt. I'm uh, going to fire a scorching ray. Okay. Two. Three. Okay, so the first one misses, the second two hit. And then uh, as the hasted action, I'll fire a fireball to it. You just see like the belt just go pew, 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 just fire off all these kind of little little uh, bolts of fire and scorching rays out of it. Can you Very Gundam get missile a launcher? As a hasted action? I have no idea. I, I'm not used to haste uh, as a as a spellcaster. <laughs> fair, fair. Uh, I'll quickly check it up. I'll look yeah, it up. I, uh, I think the option is you can make an attack, like not take the attack action, action, but make an yes. attack. Yes. Um, okay, in that case, then uh, yeah. then you can ignore the firebolt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you take the attack action. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, that's fine. Uh, in that case, I'll just dash. Okay. Uh, five, ten. No, I'll go over to here. I don't want to get fireballed again. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that's my turn. Zoom, you're up. All right. I am going to Vicious Mockery, the Death Slot, <gasps> on the uh, Attack in the Crab. All right. Hey, you can't attack that crab. You should <laughs> sleep instead. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All this argument. Not used to being outside of the nap dimension. Uh, uh, all right, vicious mockery. DC 15, wisdom saving throw. Uh, wisdom is not its greatest strength. It does make it back. Damn it. Uh, and then I'm going to, uh, as a bonus action, healing word, Muldoon. Okay. You fool. <laughs> Give you another bounce, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't believe that he reached Ascended Legendary Tell Patch so quickly. <laughs> All right. Sorry, was that the end of your turn? All right. Fred? Yes. Yes, cool, that's cool. it. All right. Uh, Green Slot is um, going to turn the lawn over and then throw some fire at... Uh, Probably the one that just like cut directly through one of his allies. So that's gonna come mm -hmm. at you, twelve patch. Have at thee. Two. So the twenty one hits, I assume, right? Yes, the first two hits. Okay. Um so that is thirteen fire damage. Uh yeah, well I'm gonna dodge it. Okay. You take two seven six, instead. I suppose. Seven. Yeah. Uh Muldoon, you're up. My dad. All right. Um, so I'm just gonna attack this uh, this guy in front of me. Cause why not? Just seems like the best course of action here. All right. Uh, so 21 for the first, and then 15 for the second to hit. Okay. Um, Sorry. The 21 hits. The 15 is a miss. Okay, uh, so an additional 10 lightning damage. Cool. And then I just want to f kind of float really close to this slot. <laughs> just like, look him in the eye. Right up next to his fucking eyes, yep. <laughs> like, you saw what happened to, to that guy over there? <laughs> Go ahead, fight me, I dare you. <laughs> he wants some of this? <laughs> All right, uh, so it's the Death Slot's turn. But before that, um, the Rangoon Typhoon is going to take a lair action. <laughs> Woo! So the crab's going to reach out and try to uh -huh. <laughs> grab at the slot. Oh, yeah. Which is enough. Get him, bud. Okay, yeah, uh, 29 slashing damage, and he is grappled. Jeez. Huzzah! 
Well done. Lovely crab. Yeah, he's like, mm. uh, and then, you know, he's resistant to fire damage. He's just gonna cast fireball targeting himself. So that's everybody, <laughs> including the crab. Oh no! <laughs> uh, so you all need to make deck saves. I should have said where I was. <laughs> Dexterity. Uh, where does Hest? Uh, you need to get a 15. Uh, uh, I have advantage on Dex's because I Hest. There you go. Are you saving me? Nope, no matter. <laughs> so I guess roll it again if you have advantage. Uh, I have, yeah, I rolled another, I rolled an eight, I rolled worse. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, so, Polly and John, you both get take the full damage. Um, Muldoon and Zune, you are able to duck. Um, the the oh. number is 24. Oh. <laughs> Even halved, that is still enough. <laughs> no more. Which oh, means dear. I go out with a bang again. Everyone within 10 feet of me will take Wants to make a DC twelve deck save, or take the full uh, the full amount of two Hemocraft die rolls of damage. Oh, okay. So, Polly, you're in range too, or are you also down? I am dead. Okay, I'm you're down. One hundred. <laughs> All right, twenty seven thunder damage, or halved on a successful save. What what kind of save is it? Con. Uh, yeah. Uh, no deck save. Dex. Okay. Fifteen. What's the range? Am I? Do I do I need to make one? Am I close enough? Oh no, you like are. Am. You are in range. <laughs> Shit. Oh, you hate to see it. <laughs> okay, cool. So that that that's another party wipe. <laughs> yeah. Man. The, why did I move? Why did I move? <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, uh, Polly Thirty, you're up. Yep, just regular old Polly will issue forth from the Ragoon. Restoring <laughs> my health. Just clamber up and go, Right, well, if at first you don't succeed, die and die again. Just uh, hop in the air, float, and just go, Wah! With their uh, rapier and dagger. Uh, and stab this one. I, uh, considering I'm a swashbuckler ranger, I actually do have sneak attack. Yep, because you're alone. Uh, yep. 20 to hit. Okay, yeah, that'll hit. Yep, for 18 piercing damage. He is stabbed. And on the back screen with the dagger, 20 to hit for a meager one. Okay. Takes the one. Oh, Captain, <laughs> my Captain. <laughs> all right. It's all right. Me predecessors weren't quite as resilient as I am. Um, uh, done. The arcane belt that uh, John Three brought with him turns and spouts out a portal that through it walks John Four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Huzzah! You will be vested, good sir. Uh, and he's going to... I imagine my turret's still there as well. Yeah, no, that's, he, he just let you in. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, uh, the uh, the false blister will fire. Bring it down, John Jr. Uh, we'll fire, we'll miss. We'll miss. Uh, and then we'll fire a... Ah, I don't have an awful lot of things that aren't resistant, uh, that aren't fire. Uh, we'll try a thunder wave on it. <laughs> I'll back up just to get the edge of it, and then I'll, uh, I'll cast thunder wave. Okay. Uh, Into the piss you go. <laughs> All right, he does fail the save. Um, he's going to he just allow himself to be held down by the crab because he is being grappled currently. Miss Crab, what are you doing? <laughs> oh! Uh, and then I'm, I'm going to move to the edge because I don't want to be fireball again. <laughs> <laughs> the slot's looking for pretty rough. Uh, Zoom 3, how do you arrive on the scene? 
Um. Oh. Uh. I just kind of uh like, I roll over like you would in bed, but into existence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like halfway through a roll, he just pops into existence. You also uh, in that dimension. <laughs> um, by the power of napping, um, I am going to copy my buddy John down there and move way out to the edge because I don't want to get fireballed. Uh, and then I am going to cast slow on the green slot. Okay. What kind of save does that take? That is... Let's find out. Uh, wait. Wisdom. Wisdom. I guess uh, up, so. to, up to six creatures as well. Uh, I don't think... It's an XP. Oh, you, can get, okay. you, you, you can get both of them if you want. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That's uh, better than I thought. <laughs> Alright, they, oh. they both get slowed. Boom. Should have done that at the beginning. And then I'm going to Bardic Inspiration Polly again. Wait, Tears. just plain Polly. Yeah, that's fine. And you can also add a Bardic Inspiration to damage because of my Magical Inspiration. Oh, you're, you're a Valor Bard. Uh, no, I think it's from Eloquence. Oh, that works as well. Yeah, nice. Cool. I have both. <laughs> awesome. Okay, uh, the green slot is up, and being slowed... I guess it'll just try and throw a fire at you, but it only gets to do one, so... At, at whom? Um, Zoom, who just slowed it. It's within 60 feet, right? Yeah, it is. So just slow motion roll. <laughs> <laughs> Love me a good slow. To sixteen hit you. Zoom. Oh, sixteen, yes, that does hit me. <laughs> it's alright, we'll slow on the uptake. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you, I was napping. You take nine fire. <laughs> Nine fire. Uh, and then it's going to wall. Um, Muldoon the monsoon four. You've returned. What, what, what do you? How, how do you get here? What do you do? Uh, so a space taxi flies overhead. I said that's my stop. <laughs> I th I throw random <laughs> bits of dirt and sludge at them, and then I jump out the space taxi once it went float down. <laughs> to my current location. Alright. So awesome. you know, kinda same kinda same old song and dance. <laughs> Gonna turn on damage myself a bit. Okay. You, uh, get that get that uh, get, get, get the juice flowing. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to uh attack this uh guy with advantage now. With my balloon claws. So let's see there. So advantage. Balloon claws. So 16 to hit, and then a 23 to hit. Okay. Um, this is too lower because of slow. So those both hit. All right. So let's see how much. Uh, so first one's 14 lightning, and then another 12 lightning for 26 lightning damage. All right. With the last uh, of that last hit, with the lightning coursing through the slot's veins, it comes to its end, and in slow motion, rolls to the ground. <laughs> uh, and then from its hand, it, it lands and opens and outrolls of what you recognize as one of the moon doubloons. A moon doubloon? Yes. Oh man, what building is in this one? <laughs> no, touch it. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Find out. So, you all harass the green slot as it is leaving, but it does just sort of jump off the ship. <sighs> it does not need to worry about the void of space either, and it's not going to stick around once its boss died. <laughs> yes, that's right. Run 
away. Uh, by the great balloon above, if I were Polly the 27th, we would have gone after that one, I can tell you. <laughs> Violent old bastard they were. <laughs> I concur. Right. I lost many brothers. Indeed. Well, we've all lost some brothers, but uh, I think we came out of this one okay. Almost Anyone else entirely unscathed. Yes, I feel completely fine. Uh, anyone right. might uh, take a small gander at this here diploma. Uh, oh, did you sure. Take, did you take it out, twelve patch? Is that what I, was? I did. Okay, I did. Uh, so I'm not twelve patch anymore. I'm Polly. Polly. As Polly picks up the doubloon, um, you feel its doubloon boon affect you. Um, you can pass it off to somebody else, but it gives you the information of what it is. Um, okay. This is the festoon doubloon. Um, and is it gives the ability of when you take the attack action or cast a cantrip, you can also cast the infestation cantrip. Right. This is Dabloon? Uh, Dabloon. Dabloon. It's, uh, yeah. He, he's he's just it up and looks, <laughs> yeah. That's the one. I can't spell right. correctly. It's all good. I mean, that's rather interesting. Uh, I, I'll be honest, I do most of my fighting with a, a sword and some daggers, not necessarily uh, putting maggots into people. That's not huh? my niche. I can... Putting what? I can give a lot of a rage, good sir. <laughs> no, I, I really can't. You hold, you hold this and then you'll know. I don't want to hold it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it won't put maggots in you, but it, it'll allow you to put maggots in someone else. Intriguing. Intriguing. Uh, I'm, I think that that's like a consent thing. I, I don't know if we can <laughs> legally do that anymore. But that's true. What uh, these uh, slad don't seem much keen on consent either. You know what? I'll, I'll attach it to my one. belt. It's a race I'll attach it. <laughs> yes. Through your belt, indeed. Yes. Uh, could you just, could you just stick it there? Just, I don't know how you're going to do it. Just tuck, <laughs> tuck it in. Between <laughs> ginger are able to finagle it into a pouch, and so uh, John, John's going forward <laughs> will be able to have that ability. Um, While that's happening, I point my toe claw towards the front of the ship and go, "Whoa!" Because I'm expecting us to crash into something because no one's been piloting this. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah, sure. Oh, you will all crash land. Everybody increment the number of which balloon you are by one because you all die. Um, <laughs> oh, amazing! Uh, but luckily, you're not, all of the other people on this ship save uh, survive the landing because you know they're like inside the ship, uh, and you arrive on Un Loon's Artificial Moon. We are going to take our first break. Uh, we will be back at 2.10, uh, and we will resume our adventure. <laughs> Hopefully. <Heck> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. This is really fun so far, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. So funny. <laughs> Can't believe I've died two fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed that a group of level five were able to fight off four slobs. <laughs> <laughs> they only had to die like twelve times collectively. Oh I know. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, yeah. we only party wiped twice. <laughs> yeah. We have reserves. <laughs> All right. Well, I will be right. Back. All right. All right. <laughs>